Hello there, I'm Sol Bay and welcome to my kitchen. Today I'd like to talk to you about making strawberry jam. My freezer is overflowing with strawberries from this summer. Um, I just didn't have the time to um, do anything with them this summer, so I just started bagging them and freezing them. We had, we had a bumper crop this year. Um, but we had 12 inches of snow yesterday, so today was a perfect day to make strawberry jam. It would be either I make jam or I start working on my taxes. Eh, not doing that today. So I said I'm going to make strawberry jam. So what I have, I took everything out last night and um, put it in a big bowl with about two cups of sugar to let them defrost and start to macerate. Um, I'm going to be cooking my jam in a copper uh, jam pan. You can't add the fruit directly to the pan without first macerating them because um, they can cause a re the fruit can cause a reaction, uh, make a reaction with the copper. So you want to make sure your sugar is in with your fruit before you add it to your copper pan. Now, what I have here, I have uh, 19 cups of strawberries because they had you know when I took them out of the bag and they defrosted it they um, went to liquid right away so um, and I and the sugar I'm, I have 12 cups of sugar is what I've added so and then we're gonna put this in the pot and then let it cook down I think I have I have enough sugar in here now that I can add it my but I needed a bigger bowl but um, I, ha I have enough sugar in here where I can safely add it to my copper pot and I'll be fine. So I'm going to do that and then we'll get it on the stove and then and then let it start to cook. I guess I'm going to have to do it this way because it's heavy. Um, yeah, this summer got past me. My daughter was ill and um, she had she had breast cancer this summer so we didn't do too much. Um, you know, things that came in out of the garden, I just had to bag it up and throw it in the freezer. And I had to do that with a lot of things. Either that or I, or I dehydrated a lot of things. But um, I didn't dehydrate strawberries, but I dehydrated a lot of uh, everything else that was in there. It came out of the garden. Like my okra. I love uh, dehydrated okra. It's really, really good. Uh, I'll do a video on that this summer because that's really, really nice to have in the winter time. But I pour strawberries and I, I can't eat them anyway. And I hate to say, but they smell and taste terrible to me. I, I lost my taste and smell, um, well, 16 months ago when I had COVID. And I never got it back, and th and then I started having uh, distorted taste and smell. So I would say a huge portion of the things that come out of my garden, I can't eat them right now. They all they taste bad and smell bad. But well, I have to tell you, these strawberries are mm, they smell mm, really bad to me. But I can't let them go to waste. And even if I give the jelly away, I have to do something with it. I have to, can't just let them stay in the freezer because I, I don't want to get the freezer burnt. So, all right, well, I'm going to put this on the stove and I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. I have the strawberries on and I have the heat on kind of a medium low. I want to get this up to temperature and stir in the rest of that sugar that I had. And then this is going to cook, um, I don't know, maybe about an hour. The, um, this pan is so amazing because the way it conducts the heat, it, you can get it to a boil, not a real high boil, but you can get a really nice simmer going on it. And um, you don't have to stand here and stir it the whole time. But it, it will take a little bit of time because I got a lot of strawberries in here. I have my jars uh, back here on a slow simmer back there, keeping them warm get the, so they'll be sterilized. They're ready. So we'll be able to put it in the jars when this is all done. So it's, this is going to cook for a while, and um, I'll talk to you later after it's done.
Hi there and welcome back. My jam is finally finished and I started canning it. Um, I ran out of jars so I have to, um, to boil a few more and then I'm going to um, put them in the canner and uh, run them in the canner for a few minutes. But um, So it took a little longer than I thought. It was a lot of strawberries and I love cooking them in my copper pan which is quite hot. Um, but it's a fabulous pan because it, it cooks it down and it makes the, uh, the jam so silky looking. It's, it's really, really beautiful. And um, you can walk away from it. You don't have to worry about it burning. It's just beautiful. This is the um, copper jam pan from Mauvel or Mayvel. Mauvel, I think it is. Um, but I just love it. I got it for my birthday a couple years ago, and I love any opportunity I get to use it. I save it for my jams, but I love it. Um, so anyway, I found out, did find something interesting though today when I was making my jam. Like I had said earlier that um, I lost my taste and smell when I had um, COVID um, 16 months ago and I haven't gotten it back and, and now I have also have this distorted taste and smell. So strawberries are one of the things that taste and smell really bad to me. But as they cook and cooking with the sugar, because when you have this, everything sweet tastes good just about. Um, but as the strawberries cooked, the, um, I tasted it and I was able to tolerate it. It doesn't really taste like strawberry jam that that I remember uh, what what used to taste like strawberry jam to me, but it tastes it tastes okay. Like I would I would use it, um, which I'll take whatever I can get right now. I mean, if it's um, as long as it doesn't taste have that bad taste, which it which that seemed to go away within that cooking process, which I was happy about that. So. So anyway, making strawberry jam in a snowstorm, <laughs> or the day after a snowstorm, um, it was enjoyable and brought back a little bit of summer in the middle of the winter. So if you have frozen strawberries or you have something in your freezer that you, um, some fruit in your freezer that you want to turn into jam, take the whole day and make some. <laughs> it did take me all day, but it's okay. Um, I was only going to do my taxes today, so. That's okay. I'll procrastinate another day. So thank you. Thanks for stopping by and see you next time. Have a wonderful and blessed day. Bye-bye.